Hello everyone, welcome to Conversations with the Real Estate Redhead. Today I have on Robin Henley. She is our agent success coordinator and she is amazing. She's going to tell us all about Keller Williams and what makes us so awesome. So thank you so much for coming on. Oh gosh, thank you for having me. I've been hoping that you'd ask me. I'm so tickled <laughs> to be on your cutest. program. <laughs> I'm just so excited to have you here. I'm, I'm excited, really. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about, you know, Keller Williams and why you decided, you know, to, to transition from a, being a realtor to being our agent success coordinator. Okay. Well, um, I have been in real estate a couple of years and uh, I'm a practicing agent. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not practicing. I'm a licensed agent, but I don't practice anymore because we yeah. have a non-compete, which is really good. But the reason why I decided to teach is I have a background in teaching. I I came from the restaurant industry and I worked for a company in California for about 26 years, Marie Callender's, and that's what I did. Yes, yeah. That's so cool. And I loved it. And um, and so um, I was so impressed with Keller Williams because they have such a great training program, and Mm -hmm. and so tickled that I could be a part. I can be a part of the training program now, but. we have so many people on staff here to help you uh, as a new agent or as an existing agent. Um, you know, so um, my main role is to, so once you take all the classes that we have, which we have tons of classes that you can take. I mean, there, we have right. a whole calendar of classes yeah. you can take, but once you kind of get through that piece, mm-hmm. um, then uh, as the success coordinator, you would come to me and I'm really kind of the person in the field that yeah. helps operationally. Like if you need to write your first contract or if you've been to the classes, but you're going to do your first uh, listing consultation. Or yeah. that, so that's kind of what I do. I'm, I'm the operational person that hands on, hands on that, yeah. that works, um, works with with new people and, and existing people. Yeah, in the so. office and and remotely. I know I've called you several times to ask you questions. Yes, and yes. It just, I feel like I have a safety net knowing that I have you to be able to fall back on. Like, even if my mentor or my team lead, if, if she's busy or I don't want to bother her with something, I can just, I know that I can call you. And if you can't, if you can't help me right there, you'll tell me, hey, I'll call you right back. You know, and it's yep. just, it's so nice knowing that we have the ability to be able to rely on, on, on you for help. Well, thank you. Gosh, it's, it's a it's a real pleasure to work with everyone, and and I think you made such a great statement there. I mean, we have um, we have team leads. You know, Lori uh, Garcia is our team leader. Mm-hmm. She's there to coach and help, and then we have mentors assigned to us, uh, and then you know we have all of our our marketing gentlemen and <laughs> Artie and Mark and yep. Bailey to help uh, with your marketing plan. And I know they've helped tons of people. Yep. And then, you know, so there's just a, a lot, uh, a lot available for people. So if you hear with us, if you feel like you're lost, you know, you shouldn't be because all you have to do is ask someone and we'll get you on, on the right path. Exactly. You know, we you have just lots have to of ask. support. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's kind of break that down a little bit and like talk a little bit about what that looks like in the day to day with Keller Williams. Um, you know, so if somebody were to were to join Keller Williams and you were to tell them what what makes Keller Williams the way they are. Yes, we have these classes and to kind of like um, describe my experience with those classes, I was coming to those probably I, I came to those um Seth he's also now our assistant team leader yes uh-huh. and he's another huge backbone to who we have here to help and whenever he did my interview at the beginning he told me I could I, I was blown away he told me I could come and sit in on the classes before I even chose Keller Williams to even pick to come here yes to make yeah. y'all my broker and I was like what in the world and I remember I was so nervous the first class I went to oh my gosh I was terrified and I still remember it. Like I could literally like tell you where everyone was sitting, like, and I was just like trying to play it cool, you know, and try not to be afraid. And it's crazy, like how that can just develop and how now we're all just a big family around mm-hmm. here, you know, and it's just, it's, it's really cool that it's, it's interesting because I feel like Lori is our team lead. She sees that there's a need there and she doesn't just say, oh yeah, it would be nice if we could figure that out. She makes it happen. And she put you in this role to be able to help us because she knew that that was a need. Yes. And actually, this role is a new role uh, for 2022. Um, it's something they've never they, they never had before. They've always had lots of support. But but you're right. She she uh, saw that there was a need, especially with new people, 
to have someone that is available pretty much any time. And, you know, the thing about the real estate business, kind of like the restaurant business, it's not Monday through Friday, nine to five. I mean, it, you're typically out with your, your clients, you know, after they get off work or right. on the weekends. And, and so that's when most of these contracts are really written, you know, and so, um, uh, being able for me to have, you know, a, a husband that's retired and this kind of letting me do that, being yeah. able to be with people really kind of anytime, I think is, is wonderful. And, but she did see the need and that's the beauty of, of Keller Williams and, and what, what, uh, Lori does that there was a need and we needed to be able to help, help uh, these new people. And, um, and, you know, I think the thing is, is in the world today, it's so important that, the contracts are done correctly. Oh, oh my goodness. And it can be scary. <laughs> yes. You know, I mean, I know like when I first started too, just like you, I was like scared to death that I was going to make a mistake. Exactly. I was going to leave something off or that this yeah. other, uh, the agent on the other end was going to think I was an idiot or something. Yes. Yeah. I mean, there's so many fears and, and, you know, yes, you go to, um, you go to your training, you know, your, 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 uh, Trek training and you get through those classes but that's really the, you know, the book part of it. I mean, that's, that's the that's policies. Not like the practical. Yeah. It's not the practical because, you know, every deal is different. I mean, mm -hmm. every deal can be different and um, making sure that that contract is written specifically for that deal that you're working on. Yeah. And um, so it, it's, um, it's, it can be a, a lot. I mean, I, I really, I mean, when I first got into real estate, I, I really didn't realize how many different roles you play yeah. as a, as a realtor, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, you're the project manager, you're the, you're the, uh, you know, person that just helps them and just listens to them. And the mediator and the, and the, the therapist and sometimes. And, and, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, and, um, the counselor and, then, and, and you have to have, you know, really good follow through and, um, yeah. There's just a, there's and a the lot to it. Negotiations managing both sides. And yeah, it's, it's a lot of problem solving also. Lo lots. Yes. Yeah. yeah and, it's, um, it, it, it can be, it can be a lot and to be able to have some, have the ability. I remember whenever I, I was interviewing with Seth, my thing was don't just tell me something to get me in the door. Like I really want to, I really will need to trust that this is the real deal yeah. because whenever I was talking with him, he said that he was always available that I could call him anytime I needed help. He would, he lived right around the corner from the office and he would come up here and he would help me write a contract if I needed it. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, I, I hear you saying that. And it's not that I don't trust you, but how do I know that you're, that that's real? And I, and I think I straight up asked him, like, I appreciate all, the, all, the, all that you're telling me, but I'm having a hard time believing that this is really what's going to actually happen. And <laughs> kind of asked him that pretty directly. Yeah. And he was like, well, hold on. And he like grabbed the mentor sheet out. And it was like this list of like over 20 people and all their phone numbers. He said, if I don't answer, if Lori doesn't answer, go down this list and start from the top and go all the way down to the bottom. And I can guarantee you someone will answer. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, I was blown away. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you a little short story here about Seth. God love him. I mean, <laughs> my first contract, uh, maybe it was my second contract. My first contract, I, I was just, oh, I was like totally, it was just, you know, very scary. But yeah, yeah. my second one was, uh, I think it was a farm and ranch. Or, and so Seth actually came up here on, it was on a Saturday from his home and helped me write that contract. So that I is mean, so awesome. He, it was, it's true. I mean, he really, he, uh, he actually did. He did that, and yeah. I was so thankful because, you know, I'd never written that contract, a contract like that before, and so, right. um, but he, yeah. Well, anyway. and it's not just like, oh, I want to go buy this house. Okay, well, is it a condo? Is it a house? Is it a new build? Is it a f completed construction? Yeah. You know, oh, I want to buy this land. Well, are there any structures on it? Is it vacant land? Is it farm and ranch? There's so many contracts in the state of Texas, yes. and every single one of them is different. Yep. And all of the little spots and all of the fields, it can be so easy to miss. And then sometimes DocuSign, even though they're great, sometimes they'll leave something blank, even though mm -hmm. you filled it in. Yeah. I've been experiencing that quite a bit lately yeah. where it doesn't, it doesn't transfer over whenever they go to sign. Yeah. Um, so it's just been, it's, it's a, um, it's an amazing thing whenever you're in business for yourself to be able to have as much support as you do at this brokerage. Yes. Yeah. And, and, you know, absolutely. And, and just that whole, 
whole thing about being in business for yourself. So, you know, a lot of people that we, we, that get into real estate have never owned their own business. And so, you know, we, uh, we're even working on classes for stuff like that. Like, you know, That's how do so you, amazing. how do you, uh, how do you make sure you have a good tax accountant? How do you, you know, keep up yeah. with your bookkeeping and how do you, how do you budget? How do you budget? How do you not and, go out and spend your first commission check as yes. soon as it hits your account? Um, you know, be and, wise. Um, yeah. Goal setting. And Lori does a great job with that, but yeah. you know, it's, it's, um, it, it, there, there's just a lot to take in and, and then, you know, especially, you know, with your, with trying to run your own business, you know, a yeah. lot of people have, haven't, ex- I mean, I had never experienced that. I'd always work for someone else, exactly. you know, so. Exactly. Um, yeah. I was used to structure. I was used to an eight to five yes, job. Me too. I went in and I left. And the thing that I actually loved about it is that like, I didn't have to worry about it after I left, even though some days I did, it was a very structured eight to five. Like nobody had my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Nobody was going to be contacting me. There was only one time and it was whenever a hurricane was coming that I had to work on the weekend and get it. Somebody's policy bound and get it paid, Mm -hmm. get it, get it issued for them. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's just, it was very, I could leave when I wanted. And now with this, it was like, it's a whole learning curve that I don't think people truly understand. They, they see the bells and whistles of what they think real estate is, but they don't really realize that we are in the trenches every single day and we are building our business from the ground up. Yeah. And some days they're great and then other, other days they're not. And there's some days where I will leave early, first thing in the morning and I won't get home until late, 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 you mm-hmm. know, and the whole time I've got clients talking to me all day wanting things, you know, and and it's just, it's, it can be very difficult to manage. And you've got your personal life too. Like yeah. you've got to figure that out also. And, and are, are you going to actually like relax at home or are you going to have your laptop with you? And mm-hmm. like you said, goal setting and, and prioritizing time and, and everything that you have to do to, to make your business be successful. Um, and also I've realized too, not, not allowing, and I've got to tell the story about how you saved me one night, not allowing your frustration to pro to not not to project that on your clients whenever you're frustrated with the other party Mm -hmm. that is one of the hardest things that I'm learning to try and figure out because and it depends on the client too you know I'm really comfortable with you and I'll be myself with you and I'm always myself to a degree but your level of professionalism I feel like changes with whoever you're representing Mm -hmm. so if I if I've got like a really good rapport with somebody I'm going to be a little bit more friendly than I would be so professional you know yeah and so whenever, and the, the clients that I, that I had you help me on had like, had started becoming my friends mm-hmm. and like we were going out to dinner and we were hanging out. And so it's like, okay, I'm not going to tell them this cause I know it's going to freak them out. Let's wait a few hours. <laughs> okay. Now that I know the full story, now I can tell them cause now it's not going to freak them out as much. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You've mm-hmm. got to, you've got to filter some of the, some of the information. You don't just need to tell them every single thing that's happening. Yeah. Um, in, 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 in respect and in certain situations. So I remember that one night I called you, it was late. It was after dark and I was pacing around my backyard. I was furious. And I was like, Robin, tell me if I'm doing this all right, because I'm mad and I don't understand. I just need your opinion. And it was because this, this builder was trying to screw my clients out of the right kind of warranty. And, yeah. and I was trying to make sure that I was justified in feeling the way that I was. And I was so mad. Oh my gosh. I was so mad. Oh, I was furious. And I was just like, I need you to like, help me understand if I'm seeing this correctly, because I just need, I just need, (laughs) I just need you to tell me like what I'm doing here because I was so mad. And well, you had all the right answers. You just needed a sounding board Yeah, because it was, it was kind of yeah jacked up. Yeah. But I mean, you just need, you needed someone just to to listen to you really. Yeah. yeah. Um, And to make make sure that I was justified and I wasn't overreacting because sometimes it can be really easy to get emotional and to and to overreact and um, let your emotions kind of drive things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was trying really hard, really hard to keep it in check because your girl was not having it. Yeah. Um, and yeah. so I just think, I just think it's so important to, now that I have what I have here, I don't know how anybody can survive without having what we have here at Keller Williams yeah. with all of the training and the support that we have. It, uh, it certainly makes it so much easier. So yes, I, yeah. I don't, I don't either. I mean, I really, uh, there's just so much that you have to learn and, and be responsible for. And, um, you know, um, we, we have a contract class going on right now and, yeah. uh, you know, so not, we have our classes that are really good, but we also have 
have these classes that are taught by the mentors who are real estate agents. So, and most of these these uh, these teachers are, are agents that have been around for a long time. Right. So they really get to give you that whole practical side, like yeah. you know uh, that you, you don't get when you're uh, you know just doing getting getting your license and you and your book work. I mean, they really get to tell you um, the stories that will be super beneficial to you when you, when you, you know, when you come up with it, you know, when you yeah, get out with whenever those. you so, get it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, Candy, she literally will yeah. pull out, will, 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 will print out the contract mm-hmm. and everyone sees it and it's going over it at the exact same time. I think last, last week, whenever we had, uh, or two weeks ago, whenever we had her class, she was role playing. Mm-hmm. They had people role playing. I mean, that is just like so beneficial yeah. because it can be overwhelming. I think that everybody's fear is especially when they get started is that, oh, the client is going to know that I don't really know what I'm doing mm-hmm. or that I'm new. Yeah. And they're just overthinking everything. And, and it can be really overwhelming. And what if they're going to ask a question that I don't know how to answer? And it's just so nice to be able to go through classes like mm-hmm. that. Cause she sits in there for over two hours sometimes. Oh, yeah. Most of her classes go longer than two hours yeah. Yes. and just constant information. I remember, I remember the first, one of the first classes I went to, I was coming back from COVID and my brain, I had brain fog, something, something fierce. And I could not, I was focusing on what she was saying, but she was going over so many details of the contract. I didn't even know were applicable. Mm-hmm. And I was beyond like my brain. I was like, I'm an idiot. I don't know anything. How did I not know these things? Yeah. And it's crazy. Like you said, they're not just for, you know, the newer agents, but the experienced agents, like there's agents in there that have been doing this for a long time. Yeah. We actually have quite a few, uh, you know, five year plus agents in there today. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. And uh, when you've been doing it for that long, you've seen a lot of things. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, um, the market, and I know you know this, but I mean, the market right now is so competitive. And oh my gosh, you know, as a buyer's agent, the, the, you really have to know, you know, your negotiation and know the market and know, I mean, you know, we had a offer offer this weekend, and there was well over ten offers on this one property. Yeah. Uh, that and 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 an agent that called me. You know, she was one of the ten plus. Yeah. And it, it's just you know it. You really have to know what you're doing, and you have to know how to negotiate, and you have to you know be able be able to talk to that other agent and and yeah. uh, try to find out as much as you can. You know, uh, and so this market is. I mean, you really need really strong real estate agents in this market exactly. really do yeah. yeah i mean it's it is crazy out there and yeah. and um uh you know hopefully it'll get it'll get better you know mm-hmm. uh, and it will not be such a seller's market but you know we focus on that a lot here is 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 really understanding what the, where the market is you know exactly so, exactly all the education i yeah. just feel like i feel like every time i'm turning around there's some sort of education being brought up mm-hmm. something new yeah. either a law has changed yeah. and we need to have a class about it or something in our meeting where hey did you know that this new construction was going on and what's going on in the city mm-hmm to, Hey, these are, these are some of the situations I've been dealing with, you know, what can y'all do to help? And we also have that Facebook page too, that, that that is a huge sounding board, I think for a lot of people. And I just, I really love how much of a, of a unity we are here, how much family we have here. And I think those classes, how many classes are there? There's like almost a class. There's, there's almost a class every day, if not more than one a day. Yeah. And then we've got these really long classes that Candy does. I mean, I can't imagine being a high producing agent like she is and coming in here and taking that much time out of her schedule to Boy, be able to teach us. It's, you know, it's Lori, you know, it, we come from contribution and we have so many agents that give back. Paying I mean, it forward, left yeah, and right. Forward, yeah. Yeah. And, and not only, you know, it, and I think we also do a great job here of uh, bringing in our partners, like the lenders and the insurance people and, and the title companies and those people that we we work with all the time and they're educating us about their side of the business exactly. so that we know you know because that's a whole nother ball of wax just mm-hmm. you know what does the title company exactly do oh and, my uh, gosh title yeah. policies yeah man they're yeah. a whole thing oh yeah i mean so we so not only are we talking real estate we're talking about you know other aspects of of this business that are so important to, yeah. to, the, to the buyer, the seller, you know? Yeah. Um, so, um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a really, really good gig. 
you know, I, I it's agree. a good gig for me, but it's just a good gig here at Keller Williams. You know, it, it's, yeah. I, I love what I'm doing and um, being able to help people and, um, and, you know, just, just really enjoying it. Yeah. Well, it's, and it's awesome. It's, it's so great to be able to have somebody that, that we can rely on, well, you know, thank it's, you. And, and just a soft voice on the other end of the line. It's just, <laughs> it's amazing. I just, I just oh. really, really value you. I just, oh. And I, and I hope that you that you can like absorb that and just like take that in because well, you're you're I very will. special. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Well. Well. Thank you for being on here with us. And um, what is one thing you do every day to make the world a better place? Oh gosh, I just try to help everyone. You know, as much as I can, and um, and um, just you know, happy that. I get to do what I love to do. Yeah, yeah. that is so awesome. Yeah. That's so. so awesome. Well, we're very glad that you're here and that you oh, love what you do because you. you can very, you can definitely tell. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you so much. And yeah. thanks for having me on the show. Yes, of course. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, well, I'm sure our listeners did too. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. And um, shoot me a message or reach out if you guys have any questions or you want to know any more about Keller Williams. You guys take care. Thank you.